Hello everyone, a very good morning. It's that time of the month that we all look forward to and wait for when we bring you a new Carnation Crafts collection. And boy, have the guys at Carnation delivered this time. This is held dear, all of us. Miss Taz, Carla, myself, all the team. Um, love it, absolutely love it, and you do too. I can't remember giving you a stock update as big as this so early on, because since that little tease that Carla gave you yesterday on the Facebook Live, 30% of Hell Deer has already gone. We've only just gone live at nine o'clock, and 30% of the entire collection has gone. Let's have a little look at it. What is it all about? It's positive, it's uplifting. It's called Hell Deer because basically our characters, the Carnation characters are holding up various things. They're holding up envelopes. What's in that envelope? Is it a congratulations note? Is it an invitation? Uh, they're holding up food. They're holding up carrots. They're holding up uh, cheese as well. You've got beautiful vases and pots here too, which can house, of course, these gorgeous florals that are in here as well. It is just magnificent. And today you're getting it, of course, at the launch price, which means it's reduced, but only for a limited time. So if you'd like it, it's $119.99. And why wouldn't you like it? It's absolutely adorable. And you're getting that extra discount. It should be $134.99 and it will go back to that in a few days time. But if you order it today and the way the stock is going, it may not make it to later shows. So get in early and reserve yours. We do do clear pay and we do do PayPal pay in three if you want to split the cost obviously. It's free PMP if you're in the UK because of course uh, you're spending over £50 with us. But just looking at these die, the characters that are in here are lovely. You've got the hedgehog, you've got the rabbit, you've got the mouse, all with their arms reached up high. Uh, you've then got that beautiful floral collection, you've got some butterflies in there as well, those beautiful flourish corners, the envelope, it's just absolutely full of joy. 240404 uh, now's your time to get it while well, we've got it at this fantastic price. Uh, as I say, Taz is here, Carla's here as well. We're going to look at the boards now, Carla. Morning, my love. Hello, darling. Are you all I'm right? I'm good. I'm loving this collection. Really am. It is just beyond, it's beyond cute. This is, it's just, it's my favourite. It's become my favourite. I love it so much. There's so much in it as well. Like the value you're getting today is insane. It's huge. So we're starting off with your cherished glassware card shapes, which are just delightful. So the minute Taz walked in this morning, she picked these up and just went, oh, these are beautiful. <laughs> and they are. We've all been going on about how gorgeous they are. They're all stunning. So what we've got is your glass stopper for the bottles, yep. okay? So you've got your long line bottle here, then you've got your large jar. We've got a jar lid. You've got the rope that will go round the jars. It's perfectly done. You've got a scroll which can sit inside it. Are you sending a message in a bottle to somebody? Mm -hmm. You've got pennies that sit at the bottom of your jar. You've got your little bow. You've also got your big long line ribbon bow and you've got a cork. Now this is just one set. Because as well as that, you're also going to be getting all of these other shapes as well. You're going to get tags and labels, which you can use on there. You're also getting the other three glassware shapes. Think of the cards you can make with this. Plus you get your pipette and your spoon there. Now, if you were canny about it, because each one of these is independently in and of itself, you know, a perfect die with its own matte layer, you could theoretically stick these together to make an elongated bespoke card full of florals and joy and all the beautifulness because it all comes together. There isn't a card that you're not going to be able to make with this. Sympathy, Easter, weddings, christenings, you name it, this will take you there. And I love that for it. Now, what's even more important as well is all of these jars have got cut lines, little pip lines going across here, and you can see them on the artwork there, just there. You can cut into them. Now that means we can put the flowers in, you can tuck them through so it looks like they're cut, you know, the stems are sitting in front of the jar. So it all comes together. It's glorious. It's happy, it's fun, it's lovely. And you even get the artwork for the glass. It looks yep. so realistic from Absolutely. where I'm stood. And your artwork's free. Yep. That's your artwork, your backing papers, they're all free. 
Then we've got your happy mail. I love happy mail. Look at this. So you've got this funny shaped letter and when it sits inside that envelope, it just looks perfect. How does it sit inside the envelope? Well, as you can see where I'm poking, you've got the appropriate cut lines. Mm. I can cut the pip here and I can cut the pips to just tuck that letter inside, stamp a sentiment on there, pop a little wax seal on there. I've got all my elements, haven't I? Mm -hmm. Really, really beautiful. Plus I've got a string for it so I can wrap it up. Everything coming together. And so I can send that just as a card on its own because it's cute as a button. But man, does it make this gorgeous showstopper for the front of a card. It's well, really pretty. Tracy Hurst on Facebook saying, I love the envelopes. I mean, what would the message be that you tuck in there? Could I just anything. love it. And yeah. I love the fact that you could do a little note attached to it. You could concertina as something behind here so it pulls out. So you've got like a little mechanism. It's just gorgeous. And that's Happy Mail. Now, every single board that we show you this morning, each one independently is wonderful. And I love that. It's all just so glorious coming together. We've then got your uplifting friends. <laughs> Look at his tummy. Look at the characters. Look at the face. Oh, I just love these. And they're so colourful and vibrant and lovely. You've got the gorgeous piece of cheese. And I love the little fact that we've got the little holes in there as well. It's super sweet. The plate that it rests on. So any one of them can be holding the plate. And you've got the carrot. So they're all interchangeable. So any of them can be holding anything. And we've got a large sized carnation mouse and that is just awesome isn't i think it? he's one of the biggest ones i've seen i think so and he's just beautiful but it's <laughs> it's the hedgehog i'm in love they with. could actually be holding each other you could put the hedgehog on top yes. of the mouse you could put the mouse on you, top they of the... said they could yeah, all hold yeah, yeah. on but look at his little toe beans I think he's he wants them tickled. He's just delightful. Yeah. He's gorgeous. But they all are, aren't they? They're all beautiful, but they're fun and they're whimsical. And there is a little bit of tongue in cheek there. We can start to do things with these, tell stories. Are they stealing something from the jar? What are they doing? There's loads of ways of playing with it. And they just make you smile. Nobody's going to receive one of these cards and not just grin. They're happy, happy cards. And also, of course, you can bring in some of the other characters that you may have got from previous Carnation Crafts collections and kind of interact with them, have the smaller ones in the background, have the larger ones in the foreground. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There's there's a million ways of playing. We've got Flutter and Bite, which has to be the most extensive, gorgeous set of butterflies that we've got here with really beautiful tonal artwork. So it's very muted. And so if you take into idea the glassware, where you've got those lovely blues, these have got a little hint of that softness coming through where we see tiny little hints of that same blue color coming through so everything works in this very soft way so when i was saying we could do sympathy cards with this we absolutely can mm. it's still going to go across all of your occasions it's going to work for birthdays everything because it all fits together do you want to make it joyful and playful do you want to pair it back and make it a little bit more toned down? It's up you, to you. You could You've have got the, the, the lid of the jar ajar and then the butterflies escaping Absolutely. from it. And yep. you can actually do wall art with that as well. If you have um, a large canvas and you have the jar at the bottom, the lid slightly open yep. so you could put it off at an angle and then have the butterflies cascading up into a shape. It would make some glorious wall art. But as always, you've got your pip lines. So these will work almost in that 3D way so that you can glue the body down, raise those wings up and curl them and you'll get those 3D element dimensional effects that we're looking for. Look at that. Sleek florals. What a board. Joyful. Mm -hmm. Honestly, when you start playing with these flowers, I think they might be my favorites. I love these. The colors are just extraordinary. They're so pretty. Is the idea you put the heads on the stems then? or uh, Not for this one. That would be, uh, but you could. So the ones where we had the um, 3D florals, where you put them together yourselves, you could actually do those with these floral heads as well. Mm -hmm. So get those out from the past. This is your foliage all tucked in. Loads of ways of playing with it. These, these little beauties, you're going to use them again and again and again and again and again and again. They look amazing tucked in between your florals. We'll show you in demo. Also, you could use those as a corner as well. Yeah, you? absolutely. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the ways of playing with this collection are endless. I have had nothing but pleasure and joy making the demos for these. They're so gorgeous. So you've got all of your florals coming through there and the gorgeous pinks, the yellows. It's pretty as a picture with those purples too. And then finishing off your collection, two of my favorites actually. So we've got your fan flourishes. These are stunning. 
So when we see these as corner elements on a card, as a textural piece, or mixed in with your florals, that is absolutely breathtaking when it's mixed in with your florals, brought together, pulled out. You can see it there in the pink behind the vase. It's really pretty, it's very delicate, and it adds a, a really beautiful kind of lift to your florals. It's really stunning. Love and, it. and that corner, you could use two of them to make like a semicircle. You yes. could put four of them together to make a complete circle. Absolutely. A third now of the entire collection has gone. In the first few minutes of the show, we're really, really busy on the website. Pop your order in. It will be picked, packed and posted straight away. You might even get it tomorrow. That's how quick the guys at Carnation are to get your order out. So the main collection, let me show you some of the fantastic finished samples. I know Janine from the design team is uh, on Facebook this morning. She said, this one's a beauty. Morning. Janine. Hey, Janine. Uh, hi to Tracy Hurst, Linda Wilson, Judy Reynolds says morning, good morning uh, one and all, what a fantastic collection of course, looking at uh, some of the amazing samples. May I ask where the sentiments are from, she's asking. Uh, it depends, some of them will of them be are... stamps from Carnation Gone Always go and look at Carnation sentiment stamps, they do the most amazing sentiment stamps I think of any company in the UK. They're brilliant yeah. and they're kind of unsung heroes and I do try and mention them as often as I can. They're on the Carnation website and there's a quite an extensive amount of stamps from Carnation. They do incredible quality stamps. Please do go and look. So yeah. I think most of them will so they're be mixed, from basically, there. From different yeah, places. I think yeah. so. Okay. Um, so yeah, absolutely. Let's have a little look at some of the finished cards then. Sue Dalrymple's done this one. This really caught my eye earlier because as you can see the, the rabbit <laughs> is going in for the money. He's go they also so it could be pistachios because they look a little bit like pistachio nuts, but it is, it is coins in there. Yeah, but he's going in from the top of the jar, try and get the Wonga. Here's another one. This is his pal who uh, has raided the jar for the carrots. Look at that. I love it so much. And then no characters on this. This is Janine who's done this one, but that message in a bottle is brilliant. So clever, so beautiful. Another one, similar sort of idea from Lavinia, but this time using a few little bits of the foliage. Uh, this gorgeous one here, who's done this one? This is Lavinia as well who's done this one. Look at that. He's in there raiding the, uh, that's, that's the, uh, <laughs> that is the piggy bank, obviously, and it's being raided by, uh, by the hedgehog. Here's another hedgehog one, but this time he's holding up a, an envelope full of flowers, an envelope full of joy. And this is a great one as well. This is one of our amazing card shapes that's coming up in just a second that's in the show today. Janine's done this one and turned this into a shaker, which is absolutely gorgeous. They're whimsical, they're fun. They put a smile on your face, definitely. And remember, all the artwork, like we were saying, that we call vignettes at Carnation, is there for you to be printed off free of charge. So this is our gift to you. When you buy the collection or buy a die or whatever, you always have the artwork that you can go and find on the website. Go to carnationcrafts.co.uk where you've been to place your order. While you're there after you've bought it, just click on downloads and then free downloads and then you'll see this artwork for the collection held dear. That's what you need. And you can print off all these amazing characters straight away. More finished samples a bit later. The card shape though, which is this here, if you like the look of this shape here that Lavinia's done on her finished card, this is uh, also proving hugely popular. 30% of that went overnight as well. It's the tiara topped card shape, 240411. It works beautifully well with this collection and other collections that you've probably got from Carnation as well. Now this price is remarkable. When you consider how many dies you've got in there, there are loads. Uh, it's 27 pounds and 99 pence for that. And that is a, a, a very popular one. Always whenever we do any dies, this sort of style and this sort of shape, they fly. So if you'd like that today, 27.99. Carla's got the boards for that one as well. Yeah, it's stunning. This is this is going to be your go-to. This is an incredible card shape. Uh, first of all, the actual design of the card shape, the layout of it is beautiful. You've got this gorgeous filigree that kind of is a tiara shape. Really pretty, delicate filigree that I love so much. It's like a fairy tale filigree. Then on top of that, we start to get into your nesteds here. Now, what that means is we've actually got at least, a minimum, at least two card shapes in one. So you've got your main one and then you've got your archway ones as well. Is that gonna be an aperture in your card? Is it gonna be layers on your card? Is it going to be a card on its own? Because you can use it any which way you want. And I've got a little, just to show you here from Vera, 
just a little example there of how we use it in a smaller way. So Dave showed you that big sample. But are you going to use just the archways? Because these create stunning cards. Now, added to that, you've got the nesteds at the bottom here and you can see them on the board coming through. Now, where you've got them, you can see how many there are here. So mm. you can choose, again, whether you want to aperture those or whether you want to layer them. And by that, what I mean is, hang on, let me get my fingers straight this layers or apertures which would you prefer there's your layers there's your apertures aren't they stunning absolutely gorgeous right now this isn't in the you know this isn't the main card shape it's part of it so extensively before we begin you're already buying into two card shapes in one that's why this is flying you guys aren't daft you know exactly what value that means but then we can start to take it further as well because we can start to use it in different ways. First of all, can we just say how beautiful it is on its own mm. as a card shape like that? So if you layered it up like that, you've already created something beautiful before you began. But there's other elements that we can use with it. We can take away all of those elements, all of the archway and those filigrees and just use the card base on its own. That changes things as well. We can lose the filigree if you don't want it. So that changes it as well. So now we're starting to look at a million different ways of playing with it. If I was to take away, say, the archway, but use the nested dies at the bottom to create apertures, that's going to be a different card. There's so many blooming transitions we can do with this card. It's insane. Well, talking of blooming, if you look at this one that Barbara's done, she's actually using both designs. She's got obviously the fantastic tiara shape at the top and then the archway at the bottom, and she's combined that with a little envelope. Isn't that just stunning? Gorgeous, That's a flower arrangement in one card, isn't it? And the other one uh, that Lavinia's done on this one, she's not used the archway, but just used the tiara to great effect, again, with our little character holding up the envelope there as well. Loads of you getting in touch on social media today. Um, um, I'll try and mention all of you. Uh, Pearl Farrier, hi all, Carla, Dave, Miss Taz, fellow crafters, love the hedgehog, she says. <laughs> uh, absolutely. Now, Jane Smith says, good morning. I've ordered the jars, the envelope, and the butterflies. Love to all. Nice to hear from you, Jane. Tracy Hurst there as well. Suzanne Page too. Loads of you coming through. This collection has been received, well, one of the most, 35% now gone. Um, one of the most well-received collections of recent months, definitely. We don't normally have stock updates coming in at nine o'clock in the morning with virtually a third of the stock gone before we even show it to you live. So here's the main collection, $119.99, free PMP. We do have, remember, um, we have PayPal Pay in three and ClearPay available if you want to spread the cost of this, which I know lots of you prefer to do. If you don't need to do that, you can pay in full debit or credit card. If you want to go for the card shape, please do. That's also available as well. And while you're there, if I just hold up a card, let's grab this one. Oh, let's grab this one here. Let's grab this card and hold this against the perfect papers. Can you see there how beautiful the perfect papers work with the artwork that you're printing off? Probably right now. You've got pinks in there, you've got your mustard yellows in there, you've got your greens in there as well. So it's all designed to beautifully work with your coloured artwork. And it's, as ever, just $14.99 for the perfect papers. You do get 48 sheets and the cardstock's 300 GSM as well. So yeah, it is a beautiful coated card. You've got a mixture of dots, you've got uh, fine stripes, and you've got the block colours in there as well. So always a treat to go for the perfect papers at the same time if you'd like to. Okay, demo time, and then we'll keep our eye on the stock because it is going very fast this morning. Unsurprising. What a collection, right? So it's launch week. We love launch week. It's always, you know, very symbolic of us having the best time. And also because Carnation now are doing one launch a month, it means it's even more special. So you'll have shows obviously today, tomorrow, um, and then you'll also have them on Friday at Hobby Maker 2. So it is like a launch bonanza this week. But whether stocks last that long or not, I don't think so because it's just ridiculously lovely. Right, let's demo. So I'm going to use the tiara uh, card shape here so we can have a look at it, see it in its different play way. I'm just going to use it almost as a standard sort of plain shape for this one. Uh, so we'll start off with that. And then as we go through the demos, you'll see it used differently. What I will say about it is one of the creatures that we've got in our collection is a mouse, as you've seen. And those archways that we've got in this card shape create the perfect mouse house. So that little archway can become a little house for the mouse to sit behind, maybe with his cheese tucked in as well. Lots of different options for you. The Every tiara shape. Every mouse needs a house. Every mouse needs 
needs a house. Right, so we I've just used my red liner tape a bit further down just to create that straight line to stabilize the card. Take these, shuffle them, place, and then I've got that where I want it to be. So then I'm gonna just build in some of my perfect papers. Somebody was asking yesterday on the first uh, on the Facebook Live whether or not the uh, perfect papers would have patterns in them this time. I think consistently that will be the case going forward. So you'll always get block colors, you'll get the stripy ones, and you'll get the dotted ones as well. And they are a joy for this collection. I'm, don't forget to grab them. I'm a massive fan of the thin stripes. I don't know anyone else that does them as fine as Carnation do it. From a distance, it just looks like a quite a pale pink but when you get closer you can see the lines they're Lovely. beautiful aren't yeah. they i'm a massive fan of the dotties i love okay. the dotty ones as well so i think there's an appeal for everybody let's just place that down push and pull right let's have a look at this filigree how beautiful is that just gorgeous so this is now this card base where it has nothing else on it so we don't have any archways, we don't have any more filigree on here, we don't have any of those nested. It is just how it is. So when we're saying the different transformations that we can go through with that one card shape, this is one of them. So it's up to you which way you go. Now, I haven't put any foam tape on this. I want it to lay flat because I'm going to build up at the front. Just let me open this up. This is a lovely message on... Um on YouTube actually from Susan Tither. Morning all, terrific Miss Taz, dynamic Dave and creative Carla. Dynamic Dave, I like <laughs> that. You can you can message again. Uh, I really need this. It's cheered me up no end after a rough week or two. Aww. Keep up the good work. That's nice to That's hear. That's a lovely yeah. message, thank you. And better to be called creative Carla than crazy Carla, which is what I normally get. That's true. Uh, so yes, thank you very much. Uh, right, <laughs> let's just take some of this. I'm gonna do this flat, so tiny amounts of glue here just in these corners and then I'll just put a little bit more at the top of the tiara to make sure it's seated firmly. When we do it with less amount of glue here as well, not only do we not need a lot of glue, but this also allows you to tuck things in. So when you use less glue, you have more options. And we all know that glue is sticky. Glue is sticky. And you've even got a mug to prove I it now. I've got a mug to prove <laughs> it. So we're just gonna place that down and pop that there. Look at the shadows coming through, that gorgeous grounding that you get from shadows because obviously gravity takes its course. Now, let's have a look at some of these glasswares. So I've got this one, look at that. I mean, how would you color that in normally to make it look real? Well, you wouldn't, I don't think. It's difficult you'd to do You'd struggle, yeah. I think you'd struggle. What I love is that Nick has given us an idea of stems coming through. It doesn't dominate, but if I have florals at the top of this, I am going to understand that there's a stem there. Yeah. I can put something else in and that will fade off to the distance. It won't matter and you won't visually see it, but we're getting that hint. So we're getting sort of a subliminal message of it, which I love. Now I've got my corner elements here and I can choose to use that within my glassware, which I think is a really big boon, isn't it? It gives me extra options for what I'm doing and I think it's a lovely thing to have. Or I can have it seated at the back of my card. I'm gonna use it on my glassware in this instance. So I'm just gonna take this, pop it on. Well, I suppose there's nothing stopping you. If you've got any like um, clear embossing powder or glossy accents or anything like that, um, putting that on top to give it a shine. Yeah, absolutely. Even acetate you could put. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. On the front. So we just sell acetate, placing don't we? that. We do. Carnation yeah. have got all of these things on their website. Don't forget, Carnation is actually basically a craft shop as well. Yep. Now I've got this here, and I've got my little coins. So, what I want to do. I can't believe it's I thought they were pistachios. <laughs> He said, I'm glad you said there were coins. I would have called them pistachios. I said, don't worry. I'm going to tuck those behind. So they're just going to see that's my coins coming through because I want that for decoration. So I'll just put. Have you got a little coin bank for your holiday fund? I've got a pig. He's, and he's called Pig and I've had him since I was, I think, 12. And um, Is he full or empty? He's pretty full, but oh, yeah. probably of foreign coins and children's toys from... My children just, you know, when they were babies, poking things through. <laughs> but we love piggies on top of my fridge. Oh, okay. I'm just going to place that into that corner. Like there. It's a really attractive, um, what would you call it, a vase or a bottle? 
bottle? I, th I guess either. It's like I would class that as a jar, mm -hmm. but it's almost like an apocryphal mm. jar, isn't it? Mm. So it could be either or. So then I'm going to put my little Michigan in here. Hi to Mandy Motley on YouTube and also Liz, Lizzie Ann. Nice to know you're watching. Nice to know that you love the collection too. And he is just going to be sneaking because he's stealing coins. See how the coins are flat and his hands are seated so they can absolutely be holding anything you want them to hold. So I'm just going to seat that into his palm. Right, now let's start building up. So I've got a cork, which I'm just going to have sort of popped up and over to the side where he's opened that jar. So you've got the visual prompt of it. And then I'm starting to use some florals and some extra pieces. Mm -hmm. Now he's also going to have a little bit of cheese in front. I love that cheese. Alison Ward, she says, uh, I cherry picked as I've got a lot of carnation crafts and I know they'll gel so well. Oh, 100%. Um, mainly because I wanted to purchase the additional card shape. And as you say, two card shapes in one. Uh, I tend to use the unusual card shapes now and carnation crafts have really pulled it out of the bag. I think carnation do the best card shapes as well. Yeah. I think that because they, they really think about, you know, what they're doing, how they're doing it. So it helps. I've got the little rope piece here. So all I need to do is measure out and cut to my request, my needs, uh, as opposed to being told what to do. I've got different jar sizes. This means I can use this on any of my pieces. So I'm just gonna snip into that, use that element and glue that down, just to give it a little bit of a, a visual pop there. Mm -hmm. It's just massive response sweet. on uh, Facebook as well. Tracy Hur says, just ordered the full set. I've no doubt this is going to sell out fast, making sure I have one before they all go. And Suzanne says, ordered it last night, plus the perfect papers. Can't wait to craft later this week in the caravan. Oh, you're going to have uh, so much fun. As long as my back behaves itself. <laughs> oh, bless you. I know the feeling. Right, I'm just going to place two of those down flat. Just tiny amounts. What I love is every card will tell a story with these characters. Well, they're all so different. That's the thing. Now, I've got these leaves. I said these were going to be your best friend. They absolutely are. They're such a boon. Watch when you tuck how that just becomes all the foliage ever needed. It's so, That's just so awesome. I love them. Let's fill this up now. A little bit of silicon gel glue to get, get some dimension going. And I'm just going to add in just to raise the height, raise the bouquet. I think um, all the characters, out of all the characters, I think the hedgehog is in the lead for popularity at the moment. <laughs> He's so <laughs> cute. Right. I have to say, I did squeal a little bit when I saw him. I was like, oh my goodness, he's beyond sweet. I'm just going to fill some daisies in at the bottom here just as a little decoration so it's not quite so... Uh, much of a negative space at the bottom. And I think uh, you knowing where the artworks come from, knowing that it's done in this country by Nick and his team in the office um, is, is lovely because very often when you buy collections, you haven't got a clue who's done it. You haven't got a clue who has designed the artwork. You're allowed to make and sell as well, which is fantastic. Well, often it's stock images from different companies, isn't it? Which yeah. I totally get in the industry. That's perfectly reasonable. But it's nice to know exactly that this is hand-drawn, bespoke artwork. None of this is stock imagery. Uh, Mark, Nick and the team do sit and draw all of this. Look at the detail. And the reason Carnation works so well is because it is all done in-house. Everything goes with everything. You can see it. Everybody has a style, don't they? And Carnation has a style. Absolutely. You can see it mixing. But they are gorgeous, gorgeous sets. This has got to be the most incredible kit. It's lovely. Hi, Linda Wilson. Uh, she says, place my order. Nice one, Linda. Terry Collin Purchase says, hi, Carla. Uh, Suzanne Page, absolutely gorgeous card, Carla. Thank you, Suzanne. Yeah, thank Let's you. Let's just look at a few more. Oh, now, update on the collection. 40%. In half an hour of being on live, half or 40% of the stock has gone. So please, whatever you do, don't miss out on this collection. It's getting a, a bigger reaction than 
uh, well, many other collections that I can remember. So this has got every possibility of selling out early. Vera Bow. Vera has done this. I've not shown you this finished card just yet. Look, look. at the cheese. Someone's a cheese fan. Cheese upon cheese upon cheese. All this artwork is waiting for you as a gift from Carnation to you. As soon as you purchase your dies, you can go to the website to the download section, free downloads, and then you'll get all the artwork for Held Deer. That's the name of the collection. And you can print all that off as many times as you like, absolutely free of charge. So you're guaranteed to get basically cards looking as good as the design teams, as Carla's. You can recreate that at home and take another look at just how gorgeous these cards are. So welcome to launch day. It is live at, I've just realised, you haven't put your clock forward. No, it felt like a lot of work, Dave. Clock in the studio says 8.31. I thought, hang on a minute, we're early. No, we're not. It's 9.31. <laughs> We're on the ball here. This is the new Held Deer collection, 240404. Um, it's a mixture. It's a mixture of so, what Carnation do so well. Yes, you've got the characters. You've got the gorgeous little bunny rabbit. You've got the huge mouse. You've then also got everybody's favorite, this incredible uh, hedgehog that you can see there as well. <laughs> and you've also got the accessories. You've got the carrots. You've got the lump of cheese. Uh, you've got the coins, of course, as well there too. Now, all of this can surround the Apoca 3, which is basically all these jars and vases that you've got here as well. You've got the gorgeous decorative stopper to go into the top of the vase. Uh, you've also got your cork there. You've got the uh, twine that you can put around the top and the neck of the jar as well. Uh, you've even got your little sticks that you can stick into the jars as well. Next to that, you've got your florals, which could be in the jars or could be in the vases. It's entirely up to you. Then you go down to the next level. You've got these beautiful decorative fans. You've got the corner fan. You've got that beautiful ornate fan at the bottom there as well. Both of those are in there. The butterflies are there as well. You've even got artwork for the butterflies that you can print off as well, which is incredibly beautiful and subtle. And then you've got that lovely little envelope. And what will the message in your envelope be saying? Will it be telling someone of a happy event? Will it be an invitation? Will it be a thank you note? It could be anything. It could even be like a little gift card. You could put a, like a, a gift card in there for whatever you want to gift. And that would be a lovely way of delivering that. Now to order, if this is something new to you and you found us on Facebook or YouTube or whatever, and you're thinking, I want to get this, but but how do I do it? Just go to carnationcrafts.co.uk. That's where you can purchase this right now. And everyone gets that discounted price, okay? It should be 134 99 it's only $119.99, and we have got ClearPay and PayPal Pay in 3 as payment options for you as well. A bit later this week, if there's any stock left, which I somehow doubt, that price will go back up to £134.99. So everyone gets the discounted price as it's launch day today. And it is going very fast. To sell 40% of the stock in half an hour of the first live show is no mean feat. We did have a big stock of this as well. Don't forget, though, there are the Perfect Papers, which is the colour-coordinated card stock available if you want to add that in because that's been tailor-made to be the right tones of colour to complement the artwork and that's only $14.99 for 48 sheets. Uh, that could be your card blank, it could be for your mats and layers, uh, but all those colours are beautiful. 240412, $14.99. And the other thing that is going very fast is of course the dies that will allow you to make cards like this. The tiara shaped card toppers. Look at these. Pam Simpson's done this one using mainly the tiara. This one's by Janine using the archways, but it's two card shapes in one with multiple mats and layers. It, it almost looks like masonry, doesn't it, when yeah. you look at it? Yeah, it's absolutely stunning. It's like a church window, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Gorgeous. It's beautifully designed, and the amount of options you're going to have with that card shape, don't... Don't be foiled, that is going to keep you going for years. And that is $27.99 and proving just as popular as the main collection. And that's 240411. That's launching today as well. Lots of you going for all three, which makes absolute <laughs> sense. But if you want to cherry pick, you can do that as well. OK, so demo number two. Yeah, absolutely. Can I just say as well, for other card shapes that you've got, 
that is going to work for loads of them. If you put that on, say, the bottom of one of them, those nesteds that we've bought from Carnation, that's going to work beautifully with those as well. Think also, of that with your teardrop and sweep. Place settings. Place settings. There's the so wedding many options. Dinner parties. It'd be really nice with people's name on the inside, yeah. wouldn't it? Just here, so you had that sitting, and then you had maybe um, a couple's name or a, a single person's name if you're doing a dinner party, something like that. Not. I uh, do people still do dinner parties. It's very much an '80s thing with trivial pursuit. I've never wasn't been it? to one with you though. Well, Dave, I'll sort it out. We'll have to get that sorted. Get it in the diary. Oh, I think that might be dangerous, Dave. It could be. It's what they call Dave. They call dangerous him dangerous Dave. Dave. <laughs> I do. Yeah. Right, let's have a look at that glassware. So I'm just going to take this, fold that back on itself. I'm using Carnation Crafts 350 GSM smooth card stock to create my card bases. I always use that because it's one of the strongest in the industry. Funnily enough, I will just say, I was having a chat with somebody the other day about cardstock and I was saying about them sourcing cardstock. We were just having a general chit chat and they said, well, you can't get 350. It's really hard. It's a specialist cardstock. And I was like, well, Carnation have been doing it for ages and ages and ages. So it turns out it's a very difficult cardstock to get and Carnation provide you with it. 350 apparently, very, very rare, but I also super strong. I didn't know it no. until this week. Um, super, super strong. So there you go. Right, look at that. I love the dots so much. I'm just gonna place this on. Now, you'll notice that I have left it the same length as the actual card base, but have reduced the width so that I've got my mats and layers. So I'm creating a banded card as opposed to the usual. So I'm gonna place, get rid of those. I love the effect of it with the banding. I think yeah. it's so pretty. Now, this is where all of my happiness comes together. I find a lot of happiness in color. Um, it's the way my brain works. This collection is awesome. Look at this. Perfect. Isn't that just beautiful? That really makes the, the dots pop as well when you put the black, does. black color on it, top. It just reminds me of beaches and summer and I don't know, there's something about it. It's holiday. There's something about that colorway that's really evocative and I love it what so much. What do you call much. that color? Um, to coral? me, it's it's like a, no, I'd say it's a bit darker than coral. It's almost like a very rich salmon color. Mm. Um, just very, very beautiful. It It's pretty, pretty, pretty. Let's go through with this. Hey, oh. Grab that. And then this, again, this is the 350 that I was telling you about. Nice and strong. And then sitting there, so you've got that gorgeous banded effect that I love, love, love. Okay, mm -hmm. so I've is set that, my stage. Is that a blush color or is that plain white? That's just plain white right. cardstock. It's my 350 GSM cardstock. Okay. Um, I often use it if I'm working with very strong colours underneath it because it just subtly sort of it tones it down a little bit for me to set a stage. But if you do um, have any of the blush pink that we've done before, that would work on there as well, wouldn't it? Now, yeah, absolutely. Um, they do three colours in the blush papers if you're interested. Rose, blue and natural. I always want to call it vanilla. Um, so I want to have a look at this. First of all, I just want to explore the glassware a little bit while I'm with you. The first thing to note about it, and I did say it earlier, is that you have got a cut line here. So you can see my pokey tool coming out the other side just there. And that cut line would allow me to poke things through. So if I was to put, say, some foliage in my jar here, I could poke the leaves through my cut lines, okay? And they're gonna stand at the front. Now, if I was to put acetate on the front of that, that would make it look like it's glass, etc., etc. So you have got all your different variant options there. It's up to you what you choose to do with it. Now I'm using this because I love the long line of it for a DL. So I'm gonna bring it in, just take it to that side point here. But what I want to do is just very, very gently, very quickly, just fold that over my finger. So it's got a little bit of shaping to it, not too much. Now what you can do is take a ball tool, if you so choose, just to give it a little bit of extra umph and just run that through your edge. Just bring it down all the way through. To be fair, your ball tool is going to come in really handy for the bellies of the mouse, the bellies of the hedgehog uh, yeah, absolutely. and the rabbit. They're give just beyond cute. And then I'm just going to shape that neck out a little bit. 
not too much. I don't want it to be expansive, but if I did, what I could then do, I could fold that more if I wanted to. I could also add in foam tape or elevate. Remember, elevate, always one of your best friends. If I cut this using Elevate, instead of just printing it on ProPrint, so I could put, I would obviously still print it on ProPrint, but then cut it with Elevate underneath it. Elevate is a double-sided foam that Carnation sell. One of the pieces of foam that you get with Elevate is there's a 2.5 millimeter and a one millimeter, oh, 1 1.5, I think. If you use the two, put it on this bottle and put another bottle behind it, you'll create like a cushion sticker almost. And I would be able to then just seat that out with loads of dimension. So think of your different options. Think of the things that you've got in your craft stash and the things that Carnation can offer to help you on your journey to create gorgeous pieces. Now I'm just gonna place that in, just. You know, we there. say that the Carnation team back at head office are really speedy at dispatch. On it, yeah. Tracy Hurst has just emailed or messaged on Facebook to say, I'm shocked, just had an email, my order is complete. Talk about a quick turnaround. Yep. Big thank you to the Car Carnation Crafts Warehouse team. Absolutely, nice one, Tracy. That's so good. And also added to that, the likelihood is that's gonna be in your port tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, which is really lovely, isn't it? What a joy. Let's put some Silicon gel glue here, not on the actual stopper part because I want that to lay flat just behind the bottle. I want the actual bottle top to be raised so it gives it that dimension. I get a little bit of shadow from it. Now let's start to build and decorate. So I'm bringing in some foliage here. That's a little bit too large for my needs. That's absolutely fine because as with anything carnation, I've got the option to snip it down. I can just take those little fronds there, trim it, and that's gonna allow me to seat that nicely inside my bottle. Mm -hmm. And already you can see that that's adding vibrancy just from that point. And some of those bigger jars could also be like terrariums. They could be have you know, flowers and plants in them as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Easy for you it's to say. It's a terrarium, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It is. I'm just Suzanne Page has just said, I've also just had an email to say that my order is on its way. Can't wait. There you go. They're so good in They're that right. warehouse. They're so good. Right. Let's pull these in. I love these so much. I love the colour. I love the vibrancy. Everything about this collection just smacks of happy to me. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to place this in. Now, I'm going to raise this one slightly so I'm not actually grounding it. I don't want it to go over the edge of the jar, but I am just gonna raise it and I'll place it there because I'm gonna put some stuff in front of it. So I'm not worried about that. Now, just add in this one and I'm gonna put this slightly off kilter towards the other side. So I'm filling this jar with florals. Place it through and tuck, that's it. So I still get that strong visual of that white patch there. Pull that out, okay. Now, I've got my scroll. I love that. Could that, that be a letter qualification? In your it could bottle. be an achievement certificate. Absolutely. Anything. Cut line, straight down, push, build it round, and as you do it, just bend slightly, you get that perfect sculpture line. Okay? Yeah, brilliant. And that's everything that you need to create your sculpture dimension. Add that in, I'm gonna angle it on the diagonal. So now we're starting to cover those workings a little bit at the bottom here. Place it through, okay? Everything working in harmony. Now let's build. Let's bring in some florals. And don't forget if you need things like pin flare glue gel or everyday PVA glue, the applicators, all that sort of thing, all on the Carnation website, carnationcrafts.co.uk. Like you said, it's absolutely a craft store. It's got everything website. you need, everything yeah. you need to craft in there. It's just a brilliant website. Right, very quickly, just build this round. Add that dimension. Look at the colours of these. The glory and the joy of this collection can't be understated. It's happiness in die form. Mm -hmm. And Carnation's gift to you is the free artwork. You buy the dies, you get the artwork from the website free of charge. 
which is amazing. Well, think of the other collections you can bring it in with. If you yeah. think of like the rabbit coming in with Rural Charm, where they, uh, I can't, it's not, is it Hank, the big pig Hank, who can either be lying on his back or he can be on his feet. That's the same as the rabbit. Carla, 45% ah. of the brand new Held Deer collection has gone at quarter to 10. We've got two more shows, one at 11, one at uh, one this afternoon. So it, it's careering towards an early sellout, definitely. You're going to have to shop fast. Yeah. We knew it was going to be popular. It's just incredible. But you won't, if you're slow off the mark, I'm afraid you'll miss it. Which will be a shame. Right, final little leaf in here. And then this is almost done just to raise in some colour again. Just building height. Tuck that foliage in so I've got that beautiful full corner with that little scroll just inside. And then finally, let's just tie this off literally. And don't be afraid of white space. Ever. White space is a joy. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's a card and a gift in one, really, isn't it? Yeah, just super pretty, right? It's, it's just when you're working with artwork that's as strong as theirs and you're working with elements that are so strong, you don't really need to do much to create things that are pretty spectacular, right? And, you know, that's without any characters at all. And it's a beautiful, beautiful card. But when you want to bring in the characters, you're not getting one. You're getting three in this collection. You're getting the hedgehog, which seems to be the most popular. You're going to get, of course, the mouse, which is uh, a carnation staple must have. But he's bigger than most mice that we've done before. So you can have the other smaller mice that you've probably already got in your collection behind him. So you've got depth to the card. But then you've got the rabbit. I mean, look at this rabbit. This is Sue Dalrymple from the design team has done this one. That was the first card I saw this morning and it made me laugh. I thought for a minute, oh, she's got it upside down. No, the rabbit's going in. <laughs> He's hanging on with his feet, with his thumper feet, it's going like in for the coins. Mission Impossible. I know. But then this isn't Mission Impossible. Mission accomplished. Hey, I've got it. From, from the carrot jar. There we go. Isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? It's whimsical. It's fun. Whatever you do, don't miss out on this collection. Let me just show you again what you're going to get today because this is the low, the low price, the lowest price it will be. It should be £134.99 and later in the week if we have any stock left, which is doubtful, it will go back to that price. But we make sure that everyone, especially on launch day, gets the brand new reduced price. It gives you an extra 10% off down to £119.99 oh, £119 today with free PMP. And there is, of course, clear pay and PayPal pay in three if you want to split, split the cost. You've got your cherished glassware card shapes, all those different shapes of jars and vases uh, with all the different stoppers and the lids and that sort of thing as well. Over here you've got your foliage, over here you've got your characters, and down below you've got that envelope containing something of joy. It's got to be joyous if it's an envelope like that. You've got your butterflies and you've got those beautiful decorative corners and flourishes there as well. All of this is 240404. It's Hell Dear, the brand new collection for this Monday. gorgeous let's just show you a few more of those cards quickly this is another one using the card shape that we've got on the show today Pam Simpson from the design team has done this particular one again there's your beautiful um, jar stopper you've got this gorgeous bouquet of flowers coming up from the bottom and of course the butterflies there with the money in the bottom as well this has been made into a shaker card Janine's done this one so in one of those little jars um, yes you can have your coins as cardstock at the bottom but then you can put some little gemstones or little sequins in there to give the effect of of money uh, making a shaker card very very beautiful indeed special request special delivery look at that those, but all the characters could be holding anything, Carla, couldn't they, really? Yeah. You could put anything in their hands. It's really sweet. It's the possibilities, isn't it? Because, yes, obviously, with this collection, they've got things specifically that they can hold, and that's lovely. 
but think of the other stuff you've got. Think of the different collections we've got. Think of the baskets that we've got from different collections that they, they can be held, uh, holding and then the little carrots coming in from those as well. It's endless. Now it's endless. We've got more of the finished samples to go through and we'll show you some different ones in the next part of the show. This one though is Janine's as well. Look at that. <laughs> There he is, flat on his back, the hedgehog, holding that fantastic envelope with the flowers inside as well. And don't forget that um, there's nothing stopping you putting them on top of each other. So you could have the rabbit holding up the hedgehog, the hedgehog holding up the other character if you wanted to do that as well. And remember, the extra card shape we've got today, um, this is going to go with it beautifully, but also it stands alone as a stunning duo because there's two different card shapes in here. You've got your archway and you've also got your tiara shape too. And some of the samples here have used both together and they work together well. They're the same width, so they'll stack on each other beautifully, but equally they work independently. Um, and this one here, hopefully you don't have to make many of these cards, but this is a sympathy card, but it really does look like masonry. It really does. It could be kind of carved marble or something like that. But equally, these could be place settings for special occasions, get togethers. You could have someone's name in the middle down here if you wanted to, but they just look gorgeous. And when you use the perfect papers, this color is one of the colors in the perfect papers, the cardstock, um, and alternating with just plain white 350 GSM card. That is stunning, isn't it? So that's why I think the perfect papers are an absolute must have to add on to your order today because it's going to coordinate with the artwork beautifully. And just to remind you of what you can do and what's actually in the collection, Carla's got the boards for you. Yeah, let's have a final look at these for this show. We will be back at 11 o'clock, of course, but let's run through because it's massive and it's going really fast. This is your gorgeous cherished glassware card shapes. Look how much you're getting. That's one die as such, one die set. One die set, yeah. Which is incredible, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's, I mean, lit, they could have sold those all individually. They could have done, and they didn't. We've got it all as one die set. This is why you always get your value with Carnation in your bundles, because they give you so much. Your bundle is always going to be the big point for you. That's I, the, I the love savings. The, I love the idea of the message in a bottle with a scroll. I know. It's really beautiful, isn't it? And very sort of romantic, so lovely for Valentine's Day as well. Um, you've got your bottle stopper. You've got your rope. You've got your little spoon and your pipette. You've got, look at these labels coming through, each one already with a hole punch through so you can put some string on there you can have it attached to the rope that goes through and you can have your sentiment on it you've got your coins your bottle stopper your cork your ri everything your ribbon your jar lids you name it it's all there those are one two three four five different card shapes already Yvonne Hodge hello Yvonne on Facebook says love the hedgehog as my granddaughter is in the hedgehog group at nursery Oh, that's oh, so brilliant. cute. Yeah. My friend adopts and rescues hedgehogs. Really? Yeah. So then we've got your envelope and you've got your letter, you've got your wax seal and you've got your all your elements here for your pieces going through to create your happy mail. So what we can do with this, obviously stamp out on your letter, but we could add other things to this envelope. And you'll see as we go through demos, I can open this up and I can put flowers in there. If I was so inclined, I could put a gift card in there and have that coming out as the front of a card so if you want to make a card and put a gift voucher for it you could actually have that as your front of your card couldn't you which would be super cute could be a and tiny lovely. little photo maybe of a new arrival in the family absolutely new pet, if new you've baby. got or if you've got scan photos baby scan photos yeah. they would go in there as well lots of ideas aren't there and they're endless you guys i know will have your own ideas too which makes it all the more you know fun to do from there you <laughs> <laughs> That's never not going to make you smile, is it? Come on. Do you know what, Yvonne? I think you should make that hedgehog into a little badge and put it on your granddaughter's outfit when she goes to nursery. I know. It's his toe beans. <laughs> He's so cute. Then you've got the mouse and you've got the rabbit. I love his tummy as well. Yeah. Like They're just beautiful designs, aren't they? That really high colour, that density in that cheese that makes it so playful and so much fun. Same with the carrot. And then you've got that plate as well. So everything coming together. But but you can, of course, have them upside down. Yeah. So they could be just be, you know, silly game. So maybe not with the hedgehog with his feet like that. Other well, it could be. That could be a handstand. Look, he's very, he's very fit and healthy, really. And they could be on top of each other. And also, they may not be holding anything. They could be just saying, hooray, you know, yeah. you've passed or whatever. Absolutely. But... What's really awesome is the fact that each one has got its own matte layer. So again, one, two, three more card shapes. 
if you want them to be. And they can be holding a sentiment at the top. So that's three more card shapes, all in this collection. Then you've got your gorgeous, fluttering by these beautiful butterflies that are muted and soft and toned down to allow you to have 3D textures, but also to keep it peaceful, peace, keep it quiet, and also, more importantly, to cover up your mistakes. And also, yeah, also those butterflies aren't plain white. If you look carefully, no. you can see that they are very, very subtly coloured. So the vignettes for the butterflies are on the website as well. All the artwork you can print off right now and wait for your collection to arrive, hopefully tomorrow. Just beautiful. I love the cut line detail on it. I yeah. think that it just makes it so pretty, doesn't it? So valuable. Then you've got your gorgeous sleek florals and man alive, are they? You've seen us playing with these this morning. They're a joy. The colours are so pretty. It's just happy, happy, happy. You've got purples. You've got your dark reds. Oh, your, sorry, your dark toned red, pink. It's just pretty. Then you've got your foliage, large foliage, which takes up and that gives it that expansion. Small pieces there and those daisies too. You know, I mentioned about making the hedgehog into a badge for Yvonne's granddaughter. Yes. She says, I'm going to make all of her group badges with a little Aww. hedgehog. We do think alike, don't we? Yeah. We love that. And then one of my all time favourites, and I think going forward will be forevermore one of my all time favourites. This is those fanned flourishes. It's that one that's stealing my heart. Mm. I love it. It's so pretty. There's something about the shaping of it, the elegance of it. It's very delicate, very beautiful, and mixed in with florals or as a background texture piece, just stunning. But this, where you're trying to design your corners to have that with loads of florals as well, just super pretty, evocative. It gives you something visual. And you get two dies in each of those because you've got the mat for the back and the detail for the front. So, and again, yeah. card shape. Yeah. Already that's a card base and you've got the piece for the top. Got to tell you, white card base or maybe one of those blush tone papers with that on top just to give it that little bit of umph and then a sentiment. That's a beautiful card. Stunning. Yeah. And you've got, remember, if you're getting also your tiara top card shape, you're also going to have all of those nested pieces. So if I want to do a sentiment holder for this card, I absolutely can because I've got them working together. And they look amazing paper pieced as well. Those. Absolutely mm. beautiful. Yeah, really stunning. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous collection I gotta say hell dear you know it we know it hell dear is special it's an incredible collection love it okay now lots of you I know will watch the show and order in between shows which is absolutely fine obviously when we get down to relatively low stocks you've got to be careful you don't miss out now the stock is going very very fast 45% of the tiara card shape has gone now as well what stock we'll have left when we come back at 11 is anybody's guess, but it's Hell Dear, the brand new collection we're launching today here at Carnation Crafts TV. And order it from the website, carnationcrafts.co.uk. After you've ordered it and got it, then pop across to where it says downloads and free downloads, and then you'll see the artwork for Hell Dear, along with all the other artwork for previous collections too. And you can print all that artwork now, Look at it this afternoon, enjoy looking at it, and then when your dies arrive, enjoy cutting it out. What a launch, what a reception you've given us for this Hell Dear collection. Thanks, Taz, thanks, Carla. Thank you. Uh, we'll be back after a little bit of a coffee break at 11 o'clock. All yours now, and we'll see you then.